Welcome to Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. I'm Lindsay Kearns, the mama behind MalibuMamaLoves.com, and I'm also a certified conscious trauma-informed life coach. As you can see, Katie's not joining us today. She's not feeling that great, so we hope that she feels better, and um, we will see her back here again on Friday when we're going to talk about, for the guys, how to get your woman back. But Monday, we started talking about how to get your guy back. And um, we kind of ran out of time, so I was going to just go back. We have a few more tips we wanted to share with you, and I thought it would be a good thing to talk about midweek, give us a little break from work and kids and all that fun stuff. So we had talked a lot about, um, you know, what to do when you've been broken up with, or if you're the one that did the breaking up and you've realized you've made a mistake and wanting to change your mind. So... Unfortunately, Katie is more the expert in this than I am, but I do know how to deal with this. I have gone through it with a lot of friends, um, and it's a really difficult time. And the biggest thing I want to stress to you is during breakups, take that time. We talked about it on um, Monday at length, that you really need to take that time to re- just self-respect, learn to love yourself, take that power back, right? Right. Um, Don't give up all of your power because he broke up with you. Don't start calling him all the time. You know, we talked about that on Monday. And it's really about taking your power back and realizing your values and strengths and acknowledging how strong you really are. You want to try to understand what happened with the breakup. So educating yourself is really important here. You may suffer a sudden loss of identity because it is confusing when you break up. You know, you have to figure out life on your own now. Um, And that can be really hard. It's common for both men and women to suffer identity issues after um, a breakup. So it's really good to just educate yourself on that. Read about it. Be kind to yourself. You really want to be kind to yourself, you know. And it is going to be hard. You can expect the hard moments to come, you know, when you wake up and you reach over for them and they're not there, that's going to be a hard moment. You miss the daily check-ins. When you drive past a favorite restaurant or a spot that something special happened for you guys in, you may start crying. That's all okay. You need to experience that and feel that and know you were part of that moment. You were there and it did benefit your life in some way. Maybe you just have to figure out how now. And the fact is, if you're meant to be with this guy, and it is true love, then eventually you'll find your way back to each other. And the more time you take to really figure yourself out, learn about yourself and love and embrace yourself, the stronger that relationship is going to be. Now, I really suggest you take at least a month if you guys are having issues and kind of take that time to just reflect and really kind of think about what went wrong with the relationship. Now that you've had the time to think about it and you realize what you want out of it, it's super important to be really honest. If there's been lies you've been holding on to um, and ask him the same, now's the time to get all that stuff out on the table. It's You really want to find a constructive way to discuss the lies that have been in there and then each other's flaws. And a great way to do that is open up about your own and say, you know, I've really noticed that this is something that I do that's hurtful and it doesn't serve us. And I'd like to change that. And I'd like to see changes from you as well. You know, you want to avoid attacking and fighting and just keep it really calm. And again, you've got to be realistic and authentic. You have to, because that's what will lead to problems. And that's what causes a lot of problems within relationships is that people don't take that time to honor themselves, to learn themselves, to let their true you out. And the most successful and happiest couples are those that keep the lines of communication open and embrace each other. They embrace their flaws. They embrace their strengths. They embrace their weaknesses. They embrace all of it and they accept it. And hopefully they balance it out, right? Because that's why we need partnerships <laughs> in life. So, you know, once you've gotten to that point, it's helpful to get a therapist, to get somebody in there to help you um, figure this out and talk about it and know that you're both going to have to be making changes for this at some point in time. Now, if you've gone through this whole process and it's still not working, sometimes you have to just recognize it's time to just let go. And that can be one of the hardest things, especially if you're dealing with trauma bonds or, you know, a really lengthy relationship. 
it can be so difficult to let go and that's okay. Everybody's journey is unique unto their own. So that's okay to really give yourself that time to heal and to really embrace yourself and figure out what went wrong in the relationship and what you can do to fix and to move yourself forward. Because that's the most important thing at the end of the day is your journey. So I hope these tips were helpful for you guys. I'm going to leave it go now. And fr on Friday, yes, Katie will be back with us. We're going to discuss how to get your girl back, which will be a lot more fun because we're girls and we know what we want. <laughs> All right, you guys, happy Wednesday. I hope you have a great day. Bye.